The story begins with a man named Brandon who used to entertain everyone by becoming a joker. Actually, some time ago, Brandon had a very beautiful wife whom he loved very much. But everyone wondered how Brandon got such a good wife. Then one day, Brandon found out that his wife was having an affair with another man. Saddened, Brandon tried to ask his wife about all these things. Then she left Brandon and married the other man, taking away all of Brandon's happiness. Brandon, who used to perform as a joker on stage, started behaving in a strange way. He used to tell everyone another story in which there was a girl who had to do pure acting, that is, her soul had entered her. Meanwhile, the father and his entire camera team were ready to record all these things because it was all scripted and acted. The father also acted completely to remove the possessed soul from the girl's body, meaning they were performing exorcism on the girl. But nobody had any idea that all these things would become so intense. Now, as the camera started rolling, the girl also started acting in which a dim had entered her body. Father was there, preparing to perform his fake exorcism, but suddenly the girl's behavior started changing drastically. It seemed as if she was not acting according to the script, meaning that she was not acting at all. Clearly, it meant that the girl's body had been possessed by a real dim, that is, a soul had entered her and was completely possessing her. The father, cameraman, and the entire staff were very scared seeing all these things, they couldn't understand how to handle this situation. So now, the father decided to actually perform the exorcism and took his holy book with him. In front of the possessed girl who looked extremely dangerous, even the father was afraid of her. After the girl's eyes were fully possessed, they turned completely black, and blood was coming out of her mouth. All this was being shown live and all viewers were watching it closely, not understanding what would happen next. As soon as the father approached the lady with his holy book who was possessed, she started screaming loudly and attacked directly on the father. The soul that had possessed the girl broke all the cameras. After a while, the father and the girl regained consciousness and then they started looking around, realizing that their crew was quite scared. After a while, the girl returned to her normal form as if the dim inside her had gone somewhere. However, the father felt that although they had shown everything, the viewers were shocked. The surprising thing was that the dangerous dim soul that the viewers saw live footage of incident. They had been completely taken over, meaning now not just one person but many were under the control of that soul. Their eyes would suddenly turn completely black and they started attacking everyone around them. Family members were being killed without even thinking that they were their mothers or daughters because for the time being, that dangerous soul was in control. Brandon was explaining that all this happened when someone tried to confuse people by showing wrong and fake things and all these bad things were supposed to happen to them. Now Brandon stood on stage and told people that everyone only thinks about themselves and these things only create a dangerous devil in people's minds. With this, Brandon tells his another story, which is about a world where a zombie apocalypse has occurred due to a dangerous virus. More than half of the people in that world had converted into zombies, and if anyone appeared normal, the zombies would also convert them into zombies by biting them. In the same way, we were shown a group of zombies eating a human being from behind. A girl comes from behind whom it seemed had just been converted into a zombie. Now the zombie girl also advances among them to eat the meat of the dead human, but the other zombies had driven her away from there as if they didn't want to involve that girl in all these things. The behavior of that girl seemed quite different from the other zombies. Then suddenly, a zombie man from among all the zombies becomes quite enthusiastic after seeing that girl, and now that zombie somehow takes out a small body part of the dead man and gives it to the girl to eat. The girl starts eating that piece of meat of the zombie with great pleasure, after which both zombies together head towards the park. The man was spinning the lady zombie on different types of swings as if he was trying to please her. Although both of them had converted into zombies, the feeling inside them was still there. While feeding the girl, the man accidentally injures her hand, causing her bone to break. But the man manages to put the bone back in place with the help of his hand and she is completely fine now. Now, both of them start moving forward on their way. It seemed like there was some kind of connection between them even after becoming zombies, which couldn't end even after turning into zombies. But as they move forward a little, suddenly someone fires a gun, and the fire directly hits the man zombie's body. Actually, it was a human who was present on the other side and was firing to save his family from all these zombies. After killing the zombie man, he advances to kill the girl, but then the man's real daughter stops him from firing because it was clear that both the zombies were each other's father and daughter who were trying to protect each other. Therefore, the normal man doesn't fire upon listening to his daughter, after which the zombie girl makes her zombie father stand up and starts moving from there. 
Although both of them had become zombies in every way inside both of them, the father-daughter's feeling and capable human being were making them. Now even Brandon takes on a zombie-like appearance because telling this story was quite enjoyable along with Brandon taking everyone who had come about his wife. He tells that when he was in a relationship with her, she never wanted to become a mother. But as soon as my wife ran away with her lover. Within a year, she had a cute little child which simply meant that my wife was cheating on me and never really loved me. These thoughts started to arise strangely in Brandon's mind and based on this, he tells his next story, in which we were shown a serial killer. This serial killer was very dangerous and psycho because whoever spoke to it in the wrong way would be killed in a very anonymous way. The face of that killer was not shown, but it kept wearing a strange mask through which it continuously killed people and never got caught. The killer had different types of weapons which were quite advanced. Now we were shown a house in the middle of the jungle where a girl used to live alone. Her mom and dad had gone out today, so she was alone at home. Then her friend called her on the phone and said that he is coming to her house. The lady also called her friend there, who arrived there in a short time. The lady's friend had brought a teddy bear for her and some very good flowers too, impressing her a lot. But neither of them could imagine that now that dangerous killer had come there, who as soon as they saw, had killed the lady's best friend. The psycho killer had tied a sharp knife in a chain and inserted it into the body of the lady's friend and started pulling it towards him. Seeing her friend dying like this, the lady got quite scared and immediately ran inside the house, but now the killer had entered the house and was searching for the lady all around. The lady hides in the kitchen and quietly sneaks out from there. She feels that this way the killer won't be able to find her. But the serial killer spots the lady and starts firing many sharp knives from his hand continuously. Some knives directly hit the lady's legs, making it difficult for her to walk properly. However, she manages to escape from the house in any way possible and starts running from there. But the killer throws a chain after seeing the opportunity and also kills the lady. No one could understand why the killer finally killed both of them. Then Brandon tells his story of how when he found out that his wife was having an affair with another man, he wanted to kill them both in the same way. Along with this, Brandon tells his next story in which some people are shown falling from the sky to the ground continuously. Actually, all these people are dropped down from a spaceship together. Now all those people figure out when they are about to hit the ground, suddenly a very large robotic alien comes from the sky, saying that I will kill all of you humans because Earth doesn't need anyone. Everyone starts running away in fear, but the robot had already started killing everyone continuously. Along with this, lightning also starts falling from the sky. When everyone asks for help from God, suddenly a chicken comes down from the sky very fast and starts fighting with that big robot. Although the size of the chicken is quite small, it was very powerful. The chicken quickly disabled the big robot and its antennas were loosened, causing the lives of all the people present there to be saved. Everyone started considering that chicken as their god. But Brandon hasn't yet understood the point of telling the story. He felt that all these things would be linked together in the future. Now with this, Brandon tells his next story in which we see an astronaut whose spaceship has completely broken down and now she is walking alone in the depths of space because the other astronauts have also been killed. The oxygen inside the astronaut's suit is also running out so she couldn't breathe properly. But inside the deserted space, no one can come to help her. She keeps traveling continuously for hours and then suddenly the astronaut sees a black hole right in front of her, which is continuously pulling the astronaut towards it. In the next moment, the astronaut has entered inside the black hole, so now it is seen that like her, many astronauts are trapped inside a black hole who are constantly rotating on a black space inside the black hole. With this, Brandan wants to tell the audience how alone he is in his life and he has nothing left to live for. Like Brandan, there may be many more people who are wandering in the darkness of this pain, but they will have to come out from here. Along with this, Brandan tells the story of a psycho man who was experimenting with something of his own. So he never goes out of his house. Now the psycho man had gone to take a bath, which he used to take not with water but with blood. Actually, the shower pipe was directly connected to a girl's body, whom the psycho man had kept captive inside his house, and he was bathing directly with her blood. Even more girls were visible in the cage, whom he had kept captive inside the room. Although Brandon was telling all these horrifying things to the audience, but reality was something else. In fact, this man was none other than Brandon himself, who directly goes to his wife's house after this. She had remarried. Brandon goes crazy and kills the lady's second husband without thinking anything. He also kills her without any hesitation. 
He continuously attacks like mad people who had been wanting to kill his wife in a very bad way for many days and all the stories he told were somewhere related to his life. The audience was very scared of Brandon now that his true nature is revealed. But Brandon stops everyone to hear one last story in which he talks about a circus where a joker stands on the stage and throws a big bomb on the children. The children thought it was fake so they were passing it to each other. But as soon as the bomb explodes all the children were covered in blood. All the jokers present in the circus were coming out and were killing the people there badly. They had guns, swords, and many other weapons with them so they were not leaving anyone, but a girl who showed a lot of bravery started killing the jokers. Seeing her bravery, many other people also stand against the jokers. However, after some time, a dangerous joker kills the brave girl because she became quite careless after a while, and now here Brandon, who was telling stories as a joker on stage, confesses that he had brutally killed his wife before coming here and he is not afraid of anyone. Brandon, whatever stories he had told were somewhere related to his life and murder. With this, our dangerous story ends here.